Hi, my name is Diego. I am a music educator here from South Florida. I happen to own two music schools, and this is going to be my review of the Roland FRP1, which is a Costco exclusive. It's a digital piano with 88 keys, and we're going to be talking about is this a product that we can recommend for our students and their families to, in this holiday season, hopefully like upgrade to this type of instrument. So let me tell you, my reviews are not very technical, but they're designed to help someone that is a beginner or that is trying to upgrade into the journey of learning how to play music with this instrument so i went into a costco tested it out i have some very specific ideas stay tuned to the end of the video which i'll tell you we can recommend it but i'm going to cover a little bit of the keys the sounds you know connectivity can you plug it into other things and just the overall the accessories that it brings so let's start a little bit with the sounds so when it comes to the sounds i think roland put about 20 sounds and one of the things that i like about roland i own one of them that's one of the ones that i the one behind me on the bottom is a Roland keyboard. Their sounds are really nice. So I'll play here this short video so you guys can see a couple of the sounds. That's an electric piano sound. Then I'll switch in there for a regular piano sound. nice no when when it comes to roland roland makes really nice and usable sounds which is part of the reason that i like them uh, sometimes they don't have a lot of them all digital pianos will probably have about 20 or 30 or so this keyboard i believe has around 20 but you want in the 20 sounds to for all of them to be very usable which was the case with roland and this keyboard so i really like the sounds Definitely, that's a, a plus for this keyboard. When it comes to the keys, and the keys for me were were actually pretty, almost like a good surprise. Let me see if I have a picture here that I can show you. The keys are, they felt really, really nice and really good to the response. So like when you play and you play soft or you play loud, they felt very, very good at like almost responding to that. And that's something that in a lot of the keyboards that I don't like, I feel like the, the keys tend to feel wobbly. They tend to feel spongy. Uh, Roland makes good products and this keyboard in this price point may be one of the best actions of how the feel of the keys is in by far. So that was really, really really nice a nice surprise uh, once again i really like Roland products and i think it's it's that was almost to be expected uh, in this price point especially from a Roland instrument now when it comes to accessories and there was a good amount of accessories on this keyboard the, we have a music stand the music stand i like it it's, it's almost like very sturdy so it can hold music it can hold books without anything falling out now it has a piano bench the piano bench has a little bit of storage on the inside it felt very sturdy uh, i'm sure you you have to pull all that together when you buy it on that box but nice bench now it also has a sustain pedal i don't love this sustain pedals as you can see they're pretty small so the sustain pedal is about this big and one of the things that it does it starts to move around when you use it on the floor so i tend to prefer sustain pedals that are bigger and bulkier but that's an easy upgrade you can find one for like about 25 dollars, which i would if you purchase this keyboard replace the sustain pedal so when it comes to the controls and this is one of the things that it was interesting to me the keyboard doesn't have a lot of buttons and i think that's one of the ways that companies like roland tend to save money so you strip down the keys you strip that you strip down a lot of the functions and and almost like accessibility to some of the things that the keyboard has and with that you can keep the price down and probably put some accessories to be part of the package now when it comes to that you press that button there on the top right that says function hold it and press one of the keys and with that you can change the sound that's not a, that abnormal, but the keyboard does seem pretty stripped out when it comes to, to the basic amount of buttons. One of the things that I couldn't figure out, and if you own one of these keyboards, let me know in the comments. I don't think it has drum beats. I couldn't tell. I tried my best. It had a couple of keys that said beat, but I think maybe the beat had to do with the metronome. It does have a metronome, which is easy to start and to control, make it faster or slower but I couldn't figure out if it has drum beats. And I also tried to Google the manual for this specific keyword and I couldn't find it. I found a couple that are similar, but I didn't find the manual for this one to see if it had drum beats. So if you have one of the, one of these, please let me know does it have drum beats and are do they sound cool so when it comes to other features about it 
Now, when it comes to the back panel, I think that's one of the things that to me was interesting. It has USB MIDI. Now, do you need that? Depends if you want to connect it to a computer one day, if you want to use it to almost like record music, interact with some software, like you definitely need that. That's really nice. At this price point, almost all of the keyboards would have MIDI. It has, I think, I believe Bluetooth MIDI, which is a really cool thing because that way you don't need to use a cable. So that's a plus. One of the things that I didn't love is that it has a small jack for the output only for the audio output now is that a big deal in my opinion yes if you're trying to use this to play with other people to play in a band to play in front of your school and you're going to be running through a mixer and big speakers because you don't want to be using a little headphone jack to amplify an instrument like this one and it's almost odd to me that at this price point they decide to take that audio jack i looked into the back into the sides i don't believe it has one let me know in the comments if that's not the case but that definitely i think is one of the ways that they include as many accessories by removing that which i think is something that maybe it once again if you're not going to be playing with other people it's maybe not be a big deal for you now when it comes to to other things about the keyboard i really like the fact that it was a, it's in a in a bundle that it comes almost all ready to go when it comes to a keyboard like this one one of the things that that i like to to think about is like you're spending 700 dollars 699 at the time of making this video and is that a price point that we can recommend for a roll-on product so i can tell you this the product is a really good keyboard i like it and if someone would be like you know I want to buy this i would be like yeah it's it's a good keyboard the only thing that i know is that at this price point you can get a keyboard that will be a little bit less money still ada keys still a digital piano and probably buy a couple of accessories accessories separate and be very close in terms of like the uh, the price point but at the same time get a maybe a little bit more features maybe drum beats maybe a little bit uh, of, of of a i don't know almost like a dedicated output so if you really like how Roland sounds and their build and the way that the keys feel, this is a great instrument. But it almost like they took a couple of things down that depending on what you're using it for, it might be an issue. I can tell you this, if you're never going to take it out of the house and it's more for your enjoyment, I think it's a great keyboard. And the fact that it has really nice sounds and really nice keys, I think overall makes everything more pleasant. It makes playing more pleasant, which is one of the things that part of the reason that I don't recommend keyboards that are very cheap. Because at the end of the day, mainly you're trying to make music, you're trying to make sound. And if the sound is not that good and the keys feel weird, it's not that, uh, I guess, of an enjoyable experience. So... Definitely, we can recommend it as a product. My only little almost asterisk with that will be that I think at this same price point, you can find other options. And we're trying to make videos for a couple of other digital pianos. So you have a couple of ideas there. But it's definitely a good keyboard. But at the same time, I don't necessarily think that it's very like, like the price is incredible. Go buy one, you know, immediately. Because this is like really like a hot type of item that everyone should have. So hope that helps. Hope that helps make you uh, get you to make the decision if you want to have one. But at the same time, if you'd like to know a little bit more of what we do here at The Hit, check our main website, thehitmusicstudio.com. We have lessons and other things to help you if you are uh, in the process of trying to learn how to play music. We'll see you guys soon. Take care. Thanks for watching.